So this is going to be a little bit of a long video. But if we look at this one, so you just want to show that going from this, if I differentiate it, I get this. This is written in chain in sorry quotient rule format. So the top function is u, that's 3 plus sine 2x. Uh, the bottom function is v, that's 2 plus cos 2x. And we're just going to differentiate it. So if I differentiate sine, we get cos, but remember you're going to bring the 2 in front, so it's 2 cos 2x. Obviously the constant 3 just disappeared. The constant just disappears. If I differentiate cos, I get minus sine and bring the 2 in front. So I'm minus 2 sine 2x. Again, we're going to do our dy by dx. So v du dx. So I get 2 cos 2x times by 2 plus cos 2x minus u dv dx. So I get minus 2 sine 2x times by 3 plus sine 2x all over and v squared which in our case is 2 plus cos 2x all squared so you can see that bottom bit isn't going to change from what you want we just want to tidy up the top if i'm doing minus times a minus they're just going to come out as a plus so i can just write that as a plus there that then means expanding the top brackets i get 4 cos 2x plus 2 and cos 2x times cos 2x is just going to make it cos squared 2x sine 2x times 3 is going to give me 6 sine 2x and sine 2x times sine 2x um, is going to give us 2 sine squared 2x over and the bottom stays as it is right i have run out of space a little bit on this one so Right, you can see that we've almost got what we need, but somehow these parts have to disappear. You have to state that 2 cos squared 2x plus 2 sine squared 2x, that is the same as 2 lots of cos squared 2x plus sine squared 2x. That is 2 lots of 1, which gives me 2. Somewhere it has to be nice and clear that you know cos squared plus sine squared equals 1, in which case that comes out as 2. So what you end up with is everything they asked for, 4 cos 2x, 6 sine 2x, plus 2, and the bottom stayed exactly as what was given. Okay, and that's it. I've got just what they asked for in the question. Now, last bit is find an equation of the tangent to C at um, the point where x equals pi by 2 giving your answer in this format anytime something's given like this in terms of pi remember that your calculator should be in radians so what i've got here is at x equals 2 sorry at x equals pi by 2 we need to find y first of all so we've got 3 plus sine of That was a bit pointless, but we get the idea. Uh, 2x over and then 2 plus cos. And again, 2 pi over 2 is just pi. You get y equals 3. So there's my coordinate, pi by 2 and 3. And then the second bit is we need dy by dx. Now, it is a horrendous thing to type in. So it's possibly easier if you do... Uh, pi by 2 in your calculator first of all and then we'll go through as much as we can so you get 4 cos of 2 times the answer plus 2 and you are going to have to do cos of 2 times the answer and then square the whole thing uh, oh I skipped one I have sorry let's try that again so I forgot that I finished the question off. So we get um, 4 cos of 2 times the answer plus 6 sine of 2 times the answer plus 2 on the top. And on the bottom we've got 2 plus cos of 2 times the answer. And then the whole thing squared gives us minus 2. 
okay i'd always recommend typing it in a couple of times just in case you get it wrong okay and then all you're going to do is chuck it into your formula y minus three equals minus two lots of x minus pi by two leave the left hand side over it is for a minute if i times through by minus two i get minus two x plus pi and then all we're going to do is add three to both sides we get minus two x plus pi plus three that is basically your b term and your a term is obviously minus two and that's it bit more of an awkward question but that one is done